Hi, I'm Maddie Robinson. I'm 28 years old and I play wing attack centre for the Melbourne Vixens. And this is my younger sister, Kelsey, who also plays centre wing attack for the Melbourne Vixens. And I'm a better sibling. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was the golden child as a yeah. kid growing yeah. up. Maddie yeah. was always in trouble. Always. <laughs> You're the older sister and you should know better. What? Yeah. She scratched my face. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. it's all good. I think it's very special to be a sister combination in the ANZ champs. There's not many of us. I think, you know, we had dreamed that we could play at the elite level um, netball together, but didn't know when it would happen and if it ever would. To be out there playing the sport you love and doing it with someone that, you know, you love even more probably than your teammates, keep that on the camera, <laughs> but, um, you know, it is very special to share those moments because a lot of the time I'd come home and say what it's all about and she'd be like, yeah, 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 but now to be able to share it together is really nice. Yeah, and I've, um, I've sort of been in the stands for however long watching Maddie and obviously I'd always love to be there. Um, and for it to sort of happen the way it did last year was a little bit bittersweet with Maddie going down with her knee and me getting the call up and it was definitely hard for the family. That is horrifying signs for Maddie Robinson at the moment, the Vixens. It's pretty difficult to sort of see her go down um, last year. I was in Melbourne because they were in Perth and I was watching and I was straight on the phone to mum like, what's happening? And I think I cried more than Madison did. The Maddie... family were worse than I was. Yeah, Maddie didn't yeah. cry at all. And I was on the other end of the phone sobbing. You never, you never know when your opportunity is going to come. And as I said, it was bittersweet because you don't, definitely don't want it to come at the expense of your older sister and someone that you've sort of looked up to for a while. Um, but when I got the phone call from Simone, I sort of thought, I'm going to take that. I, I made sure that, you know, don't worry. I know that there's going to be comparisons. I know that there's going to be people talking um, and, you know, oh, younger sister, all of this type of stuff. But you know what? As I said, opportunities come in sport and these things happen and you've just got to make the most of it when it comes. At half time, um, of the first game, I was at I was in the change rooms and they said, Kelsey, you're at ring attack. And she went, she looked at me and she's like, what? And I was like, get the bib on, let's go, here we go, the show's on. And she was like, oh my goodness. So like, just relax, it's fine. So I think that was kind of good that I was still there because you're still a bit like a deer in headlights going, oh my goodness, this is really happening. I'm 28, I still feel like I've got a, a lot to give to the sport. I guess once you've had a major injury, then it was like, oh gosh, I just want to go for another four years and I'd, I'd love to go to a World Cup. Um, but then it also puts things in perspective and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And if it doesn't, then that's fine too. At least I know I've given it a crack. When I went down to, for her to have had the opportunity and then for us to play together, I mean, that's a huge positive. I'm really happy to be playing um, ANZ netball. To be a permanent fixture of the Vixens is, is pretty awesome. And I love netball and I probably won't stop anytime soon.